Today, we're diving into the exciting world of open source AI and data tools. In this video, the first of a series, we're showcasing some of the top trending projects on GitHub this week. We'll explore tools designed for AI agents, LLM fine tuning, data processing, real time communication, 3D printing, and more. So, buckle up as we explore these innovative projects. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, Vision Agent, the AI-powered code generator for computer vision tasks. Vision Agent is a library designed to help you use agent frameworks to generate code for solving vision tasks. The fastest way to test Vision Agent is through its web application. To get started, you need to install the library using pip install Vision Agent and set your API keys for Anthropic and OpenAI. According to the documentation, using both Anthropic Cloud 3.5 and OpenAI 01 provides the best performance. However, you can configure the library to use other LLM providers by modifying the config.py file in the vision underscore agent slash configs directory. Vision agent allows you to generate code for various vision related tasks. For instance, you can generate code to count the number of people in an image. The generated code utilizes tools provided by the library, which you can also use directly. These tools include functions for loading images, object detection, and overlaying bounding boxes. You can also use the tools for video analysis, such as extracting frames and timestamps, running tracking, and overlaying segmentation masks. What sets Vision Agent apart is its ability to generate code tailored to specific vision tasks using agent frameworks. Instead of writing code from scratch, you can use Vision Agent to automate the process. The library provides tools for object detection, image visualization, and video analysis. By integrating with LLMs like Anthropic Claude and OpenAI, Vision Agent can generate code that leverages these models' capabilities to solve complex vision problems. The focus is on simplifying the development process and enabling users to quickly prototype and deploy vision-based applications. Project number 2, one 2.1 the Open and Advanced Large Scale Video Generative Model. WAN 2.1 is a comprehensive and open suite of video foundation models designed to push the boundaries of video generation. What makes WAN 2.1 unique is its combination of several key features and innovations. First and foremost, WAN 2.1 delivers state of the art performance outperforming existing open-source models and even rivaling commercial solutions across various benchmarks. The models can handle multiple tasks, including text-to-video, image-to-video, video editing, text-to-image, and video-to-audio generation. One of WAN 2.1's most notable strengths is its visual text generation capability. It is the first video model capable of generating both Chinese and English text, with robust text generation that enhances its practical applications. Another key innovation is the WAN VAE, a 3D causal variational autoencoder architecture designed specifically for video generation. WAN VAE improves spatiotemporal compression, reduces memory usage, and ensures temporal causality. It can encode and decode unlimited length 1080p videos without losing historical temporal information, making it ideal for video generation tasks. WAN 2.1 is built on the mainstream diffusion transformer paradigm, using the flow matching framework. The model architecture uses AT5 encoder to encode multilingual text input and incorporates cross-attention in each transformer block to embed the text into the model structure. The models also support consumer-grade GPUs. For example, the T2v1.3b model requires only 8.19 GB VRAM and can generate a 5-second 480p video on an RTX 4090 in about 4 minutes. WAN 2.1 stands out due to its novel 3D causal VAE architecture, scalable training strategies, large-scale data construction, and automated evaluation metrics. These elements collectively enhance the model's performance and versatility. Project number 3, Flash MLA, Efficient MLA Decoding Kernel for Hopper GPUs. Flash MLA is an efficient MLA decoding kernel designed for Hopper GPUs, with optimizations tailored for variable link sequences. What makes Flash MLA unique is its focus on delivering high performance and efficiency on Hopper GPUs, particularly in memory-bound and computation-bound configurations. Specifically, Flash MLA achieves up to 3000 GB per second in memory-bound configurations and 580 teraflops in computation-bound configurations on H800SXM5, 
when using CUDA 12.8. This level of performance makes it a compelling solution for demanding machine learning workloads. Flash MLA supports BF16 and FP16 data types, and uses paged cache with a block size of 64. To get started with Flash MLA, you can install it using Python setup.py install and benchmark its performance with Python test slash test underscore flash underscore MLA.py. The library also provides example usage for integrating it into your projects. Flash MLA is designed to work with Hopper GPUs and requires CUDA 12.3 or above with a strong recommendation for version 12.8 or higher for optimal performance. It also requires PyTorch 2.0 and above. The project is inspired by Flash Attention 2 and 3 and Cutlass projects. The Flash MLA project has also been adapted for other GPU architectures, including MetaX GPUs, More Threads GPUs, Hygon DCUs, Intellifusion NNPs, and Iliavator Corex GPUs. These adaptations can be found on the respective companies' websites and GitHub repositories. Project number 4, DPP, an efficient expert parallel communication library. DPP is a communication library tailored for mixture of experts, MO, and expert parallelism, EP. What makes DPP unique is its focus on providing high-throughput and low-latency all-to-all GPU kernels, also known as MO Dispatch and Combine with support for low-precision operations like FP8. DPP includes kernels optimized for asymmetric domain bandwidth forwarding, aligning with the group-limited gating algorithm proposed in the DeepSeq v3 paper. These kernels are designed to forward data from the NVLink domain to the RDMA domain, delivering high-throughput suitable for both training and inference prefilling tasks. They also support SM, streaming multiprocessors, number control. For latency-sensitive inference decoding, DPP offers a set of low-latency kernels with pure RDMA to minimize delays. It also introduces a hook-based communication computation overlapping method that doesn't occupy any SM resource. Normal kernels achieve high bandwidth, such as 153 GB per second, NVLink, for internode communication and 43 GB per second, RDMA, for internode communication with 16 experts. Low latency kernels can achieve latencies as low as 163S with 46 gigabytes per second RDMA bandwidth for dispatch with 8 experts. DPP is compatible with InfiniBand networks and theoretically compatible with RDMA over converged Ethernet, ROS. It supports traffic isolation through virtual lanes, VL, and adaptive routing for low latency kernels to eliminate network congestion. Project number 5 Olmo CR the PDF data extraction tool that makes language models smarter. We're diving into Olmo CR, a toolkit designed to revolutionize how language models interact with PDF documents. What sets Olmo CR apart is its focus on linearizing PDFs, making them more accessible and understandable for AI. Forget about jumbled text and misinterpretations, Olmo CR ensures language models receive clean, coherent data. One of Olmo CR's standout features is its prompting strategy using ChatGPT 4.0. This ensures that the text parsing is not only accurate, but also feels natural, closely mimicking human understanding. Plus, the side-by-side -side evaluation toolkit allows for easy comparison of different pipeline versions ensuring you always use the most effective configuration. The toolkit also includes filtering options to remove SEO spam and non-English content. For those looking to fine-tune their models, Olmo CR offers specific code for models like Quen2VL and Malmo. And if you're dealing with a large volume of PDFs, Olmo CR can handle it. It's designed to process millions of documents using a fine-tuned model with Sklang and it can even coordinate work across multiple nodes using AWS S3. There is also a Dolma viewer to help view the PDF documents. Whether you're working on a single machine or a large cluster, Olmo CR provides the tools you need to transform messy PDFs into structured data that your language models can actually use. With its comprehensive features and focus on usability, Olmo CR is a game-changer for anyone working with PDF data in the field of AI. Project number 6 Orca Slicer the all-in-one slicer for your 3D printer. Discover Orca Slicer, a cutting-edge, open-source slicing software that brings a new level of precision and versatility to 3D printing. Designed to support a wide range of FDM printers, including those from Bamboo, Prusa, Voron, VZBot, RatRig, and Creality, Orca Slicer focuses on user-friendliness and innovative features to optimize your 3D printing experience. One of the most remarkable aspects of Orca Slicer is its auto-calibration feature. This ensures that your printer is accurately calibrated, which leads to enhanced print quality from the outset. Another standout feature is the Sandwich Mode, an enhanced version of the external perimeter's first approach, 
which strategically arranges inner and outer perimeters to significantly improve print quality. Moreover, the software offers precise wall printing, enabling the creation of smooth and accurate walls in your prints. In addition, Orca Slicer provides polyhole conversion support. Built on the foundations of Prusa Slicer and incorporating elements from Super Slicer, Orca Slicer provides users with granular control over a wide range of printing parameters. This empowers both beginners and advanced users to fine-tune their settings, achieving the desired results with ease. Orca Slicer extends its capabilities with Clipper support, allowing you to harness the power of code arcs. As an open-source project, Orca Slicer thrives on community feedback, offering nightly builds for users to explore the latest developments and contribute to the software's continuous improvement. To ensure a safe download, Always use the official GitHub project page, orcaslicer.com, or the official Discord channel. Remember to report any suspicious sites to search engines. Project number 7, FastRTC, real-time communication made easy with Python. Discover FastRTC, a Python library designed to simplify real-time communication. It allows you to transform Python functions into real-time audio and video streams using WebRTC or WebSockets. FastRTC distinguishes itself by automating many complexities involved in real-time communication, enabling developers to focus on application logic. One of FastRTC's key features is its automatic voice detection and turn-taking capability, which streamlines the development of voice-based applications. It also offers an automatic UI via the .ui.launch method, allowing for easy testing and sharing of your stream using a built-in Gradio interface. Furthermore, FastRTC provides automatic WebRTC support and WebSocket support through the .mount app method, which mounts the stream on a fast API app creating WebRTC and WebSocket endpoints for custom frontends. The library even supports automatic telephone support using the .fastphone method, providing a free temporary phone number to call into the stream. FastRTC is designed to be completely customizable. A stream can be mounted on a fast API app, making it easy to extend and integrate into existing production systems. The library also includes built-in pause detection and text-to-speech functionalities with the VAD and TTS extras. FastRTC offers various examples and demos, such as Gemini Audio Video Chat, Google Gemini Real-Time Voice API, OpenAI Real-Time Voice API, and more, showcasing its versatility. To get started, simply install FastRTC using pip install faster. FastRTC is documented at fastrtc.org. Project number 8, SmallPond, the lightweight data processing framework. Discover SmallPond, a lightweight data processing framework uniquely built on DuckDB and 3FS. SmallPond's distinction lies in its ability to provide high-performance data processing and scalability with simplified operations. This framework is engineered to manage datasets reaching the petabyte scale all without needing long-running services. One of SmallPond's most compelling features is its high-performance data processing, skillfully powered by DuckDB. This enables swift and efficient data manipulation and analysis. Moreover, SmallPond exhibits impressive scalability, making it an excellent choice for handling substantial datasets. Operations are streamlined with SmallPond, eliminating the complexities associated with long-running services. SmallPond proudly supports Python versions 3.8 through 3.12. Installation is straightforward using pip install SmallPond. The documentation offers a quick start guide, providing clear instructions on how to initiate sessions, load and process data, save results, and display them effectively. SmallPond's capabilities were rigorously assessed using the gray sort benchmark on a cluster consisting of 50 compute nodes and 25 storage nodes operating on 3FS. This benchmark successfully sorted one 10.5 TIB of data in just 30 minutes and 14 seconds, achieving an outstanding average throughput of 3.66 TIB slash min. SmallPond operates under the MIT license. The project is open to community contributions and offers extensive guides and API references to facilitate user onboarding. Detailed documentation, including getting started guides and API references, is readily available. Project number 9, LLAMA Factory, your all-in-one solution for fine-tuning large language models. Discover LLAMA Factory, a tool designed for the unified and efficient fine-tuning of over 100 large language models, LLMs, and vision language models, VLMs. This project stands out by offering a comprehensive suite of features that simplifies and accelerates the fine-tuning process making it accessible to both novice and expert users. One of LMA Factory's key strengths is its versatility in model support, including LAMA, 
El Lovier, Mistral, Quen, and more. It integrates various training methods such as pre-training, supervised fine-tuning, and reinforcement learning techniques like PPO and DPO. What truly sets it apart is its scalability, offering 16-bit full tuning, freeze tuning, LoRa, and various QLORA quantization options. LMA Factory incorporates advanced algorithms like Galore, Beatum, and Dora, along with practical tricks like Flash Attention 2 and Rope Scaling. It supports a wide range of tasks, including multi-turn dialogue, tool use, and image understanding. The platform also supports experiment monitoring, with tools like LlamaBoard, TensorBoard, and One. To further enhance usability, LMA Factory provides a zero-code CLI and web UI. It supports various datasets and offers features like a faster inference using an OpenAI-style API with a VLLM worker. With LMA Factory, fine-tuning large language models becomes remarkably easy, offering up to 3.7 times faster training speeds compared to other methods. To get started, simply clone the repository and install the necessary dependencies. The project is licensed under the Apache 2.0 license, encouraging community contributions and further development. Project number 10 AI Agents for Beginners, your gateway to building intelligent agents. Embark on a journey into the world of artificial intelligence with the AI Agents for Beginners course, a comprehensive guide designed to equip you with the knowledge and skills to build your own AI agents. This course distinguishes itself by providing 10 lessons that cover everything you need to get started from fundamental concepts to practical implementation. What sets this course apart is its focus on accessible learning, allowing you to start with any lesson based on your interests and needs. The course offers multi-language support, ensuring a global audience can benefit from its teachings. Each lesson includes a written guide, accessible code samples, and links to additional resources, offering a well-rounded learning experience. The code examples are designed to work with Azure AI Foundry and GitHub models, providing flexibility in accessing and utilizing language models. The course also integrates with Azure AI Agent Service, Semantic Kernel, and Autogen. The AI Agents for Beginners course provides a hands-on approach, with code samples available in the code underscore samples folder. You can fork the repo to create your own copy and run the code. This course not only teaches you the basics, but also encourages community involvement. You can contribute by raising issues, creating pull requests, or joining the Azure AI Community Discord for questions and support. The course covers a range of topics, including agentic RAG, building trustworthy AI agents, planning design patterns, multi-agent design patterns, and metacognition. By the end of this course, you'll have a solid foundation in building AI agents and be ready to explore more advanced concepts and applications. And that wraps up part one of our look at this week's top trending open source projects. We covered a lot of ground, from AI agent development to efficient data processing and cutting-edge video generation. Make sure you check out the links in the description to explore these projects further. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss part 2, where we'll be covering even more exciting open-source innovations. Thanks for watching.